how's the last few weeks been for you? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while to be fair, but no, that's uh, been working on a few things in the background and we all knew my situation uh, coming up to the end of the season that I was out of contract. So uh, as for it is the now, so for me the now, looking forward to the end of the season, playing as many games as possible and hopefully getting to the uh, another cup final as well. How difficult a decision was it for you to make to leave Celtic and go to Aberdeen at the end of the season? I've had 14 fantastic years at this club and I've enjoyed every single moment of it. Even some of them have, have been getting beat as well, but you take that in your stride. And as I say, it's, it's been a wonderful career for myself. I've enjoyed the moments with the fans and uh, it's just a pity that I, I can't share the last five or six games with the fans and see them in the stadium because they've been a, a part of my journey as much as I've been a part of theirs. So it's been, it's been great. It's, it'll be emotional times when I do eventually uh, finish the last game of the season. But um, it'll be a new, fresh start for myself as well. And it, it's something that I've looked to get into. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the, the challenge next season, uh, helping out with Stephen and the backroom staff as well, but also playing as well. So I, I'll get to learn to see how budgets work, how, to, how you work with the boardroom and stuff that, and how you prep training and all that. And it, it's the, the road that I want to go down. And let's be honest, I'm not getting any younger, so it's a good chance to learn. Was that what ultimately made your decision that you will probably play more games at Aberdeen, maybe, and also you're learning those new skills at the same time? Yeah, it was a, it was in the back of my mind. I know Stephen very, very well. He's going to be a fantastic coach. He's, he's a great friend as well. So I've spoke with him and Dave a lot recently. And now it's about building a partnership up, making sure we set the foundations uh, correct at the football club. And... Uh, and push on from there because Aberdeen's a great football club. Uh, we've had some great battles up there and we've, we've played some great football over the years as well. So I'm looking forward to that challenge. Scott, was there ever an option for you to be able to do these things that you want to do in the next stage of your career with Celtic? Was that ever on the table? I got offered another year at Celtic, so it was playing. It, it was a hard situation now because... It'd have to be sit and wait to the end of the season, see who comes in. And for me to have that fresh start with somebody that I know, I trust and I respect fully and maybe sit in, in a Celtic to the end of the season, not sure what to do or who's coming in. I think that kind of played on my mind as well. But uh, as I say, it's going to be a sad time when I do leave, but it's been fantastic as well. I've enjoyed every single moment out of it and winning trophies, winning games, playing in front of some fantastic fans as well. Given that there, there's obviously going to be a huge amount of turnover at Celtic this summer with yourself leaving, Peter stepping down, Neil's already left. Um, was there ever an inclination that you thought, actually, I want to stay on and maybe help the transition? That was always in the back of my mind as well. Hmm. Well, I think I've got to look at the selfish point of view as well, that I can't just go in there and run a dressing room and be the guy where I still believe that I can play football. Aberdeen offered me a two-year deal and it was an, an offer that I couldn't turn down. Yeah. I mean, you've always talked about going into coaching, but you also sat there a few weeks ago and said, oh, I've still got a lot of mileage left in the legs. So presumably you feel you can continue to play on for quite some time. Yeah, I'll be 36 in the summer, um, but I still feel good. I've been playing a lot of games this season. I've been in and out, but uh, that happens when when you get that little bit older. And that'll probably happen at Aberdeen as well. But for me, it's just about being part of uh, that coaching staff as well. For me to learn as much as I can underneath Stephen and work towards my goal as being a, a coach, being a manager uh, one day down the line, but also ticking the boxes of me trying to play as long as I possibly can in my career too. Have you considered the possibility you might be able to lift another Scottish Cup with Celtic against the team you might be about to join? <laughs> I was waiting on that question. <laughs> uh, we'll take it one game at a time. For me, got a huge game at the weekend. We're playing Fall Cup now. We need to make sure that we get a good result, good performance as well at home. So um, it, it's on telly. So it'll be a good one for us. And it's good to get all the lads back after an international break as well. Scott, when you've been at a club for so long, will it be odd when you step into a new environment? Um, I'd done it when I left Hibs to come to Celtic. Uh, went into the changing rooms on the first day, went, spoke to everyone, sat them down, had a chill, 
a wee chat with him as well. So no, it, it's a good experience as well as a sad experience because I've had some fantastic times here, great memories, great managers, great players that I've played with as well. But it's a new chapter in my career. Um, it's about how I go on, how I'm looking forward to going into the coaching side, but also playing as well. So I, I need to be a mentor to the to the players as well, but I also have to be a mate and I have to be a teammate as well. How, how much of an incentive, I mean, it always is an incentive anyway, but how much this season is an incentive for you to end with a bang and, and win the Scottish Cup? Yeah, I want to win every game. Uh, that's why I came to Celtic in the first place. I wanted to win trophies and I've done that. But we need to make sure we take it one game at a time. Falkirk's going to be a hard game. They're well organised and I'm sure they'll be looking forward to it just as much as we are. But uh, we're a good team, especially at home. The pitch is looking good, so here's hoping we can get a good result. You mentioned yourself, Scott, that obviously Aberdeen have been kind of rivals to a degree over the last few years. Do you think, you know, when you go to a new club, you might have to win over some fans? Do you think you might have to do that when you go to Pataudry? I had to win over the fans at Easter Road, uh, coming through as a young lad. I had to win over the fans at Celtic as well. And I'm sure there'll be in both uh, sets of fans, still some players, uh, some of them maybe don't like the way I play, but that's part and parcel of football. You, you can't please everybody. But I will, wherever I go, whoever I play for, give 110% on the park, give a lot in the training ground as well, and I'll always do what's best for the football club. And the style that you have that you'll then have when you're playing for them will endear you to them, you reckon, yeah? Well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> God, you talked about... Um... Stephen Glass, how, how big, uh, big a part he played in bringing you up north next season. I just wanted to know how much Dave Cormack also played a role. He obviously had his Q&A uh, for Aberdeen yesterday. He talked glowingly about you as both a player and hopefully as a manager going forward. Yeah, he's been fantastic. We've been on the phone quite a lot recently. Uh, he's coming over, so uh, we've not had any face-to-face -face time or anything like that yet. So... Uh, no, he's been great for myself. He's offer, offered me this opportunity and Stephen this opportunity to come into the football club. And he, he, he's backing us well. So he's put a lot of faith in us to come in to let, our, let us show our philosophy. So we want to build a, a good football team that plays good football that also presses high up the park. So we've all got the same philosophy and how we can push forward now and deal Dell done a fantastic job over the years. He uh, pushed us every season for the league. That was uh, that was the thing. So it's going to be a hard, hard job. But we're, we're all looking forward to it. He's been, he's, he has been great. We've chatted a lot recently. So we, it's just about now getting to the next chapter of my career. Once uh, the contracts uh, all uh, start up at Aberdeen, I'll be looking forward to the next chapter. Should you feel that um, his aim and his ambition? for you and, and for Stephen and for the team is to take the Aberdeen to, to the next level almost? Yeah, he's, he's an Aberdeen fan. He wants the best for the club. And as we do from next season, we want to push the club on as far as we possibly can. And he'll be a huge part of it. We'll work closely with him. And I, I think that's what you need to do. We need to build that reputation and, and try and get a good football team, but also that, that winning mentality into the team as well and that's what he wants to build that's what he wants to push into us as well and now we need to make sure we, we deliver that Scott has it, been, has it been difficult at all to kind of focus on Celtic with all the, kind of the last few weeks are you glad to kind of have it settled now and, and then focus on, on trying to kind of bow out with, that, with a fifth Scottish Cup on the bounce it's been not too bad uh, the press have made a huge thing of it and uh, I just take it in my stride to be perfectly honest and for, for the moment being I'm a Celtic player and I'll do whatever it takes for every game, whether I play or I don't, to do what's best for the lads in that dressing room to help the management staff as well. And that's what I'm here to do. This is what I've been paid to do for the last 14 years of my career and what I've loved to do as well. So for me, it's not a problem. I will give 100% for whatever team I play for. It's my mentality. I'll go on that park, I cross that white line and I fight, I scratch, I want to play football, but I also want to win games as well. Is there a kind of sense of disappointment that your, your, your Celtic career is coming to an end the way it has? Or is it just kind of looking uh, excitement about the, the new challenge ahead? You've always got to look forward. And for me, it's all about positivity. Uh, I've had a fantastic career at Celtic. It's been brilliant. As I say, I've worked under some great managers and some great players as well. And I've made some fantastic friends over the years. 
but now it's a new chapter. It's a, it's a chapter where I'm starting to move into coaching and I'm coming to the end of my football career now. So um, for me, it's just to try and play as long as I possibly can but help out anyone else at Aberdeen or anyone at Celtic until my contract's done, and then push on and try and build a, a good football environment at Aberdeen as well. Cheers. Scott, as you map out the future, if it was to fall ideally for you, when would you like to be a manager in your own right? A Real Madrid. No, when? When, not where. All right, where? <laughs> when, when, when? When... <laughs> I'm lucky enough that I've got some great managers that I can, I can pick up the phone to to go down and see and I, and I can understand their methods and their philosophy of the game. So that, that's one good thing. But for now, it's all about learning as much as I possibly can. And the now I'm learning underneath John. I'm taking all his good habits out, which he's got a lot of them, to be perfectly honest, and he's done a fantastic job. And I've got a lot of other managers that I can pick up the phone to. But it's just about making sure that I'm as ready as I possibly can be if I get that opportunity to step into management.